Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission of Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard that I only recently um, came across. I've been wanting this layout for a while. Um, I've actually built some that are similar to this layout, but I think this one's the closest to. Anyway, this is the next time 68, um, which I mean, let's hope with the, <laughs> a little bit of a, it did come in a bag. Um, I did purchase this from KP Republic with a discount for review. Um, but all of my opinions are my own. I just wanted to disclaim that. I do my best to try and at least have some money in the game. I mean, because there are a lot of vendors that are like, oh, we'll just send you a keyboard. And sometimes I, I do take them and I'm honest about them. But I just, I like to have a little bit of skin in the game because it makes me feel like, okay, hey, you know, I, I, I I put money into this. How do I really feel about it? So let's go ahead and get into this now. Thankfully, boxes aren't collector's items. <laughs> but it would be nice. I mean, KP Republic, I love you guys. You guys are, have become very attentive. And you guys really did make a 180 based on things that used to happen, which just aren't a case anymore. Uh, but you got to do a better job on your pack. This is, I mean, even if it's just, you know, another bag that's a little tougher, but some foam or some bubble wrap would make a huge difference. Um, now, most of the times the keyboards, the boxes will come, you know, messed up, but the keyboard should be okay. But there are times when the keyboards do come damaged. Not, not from you. I have received packages from overseas and I open it up and there's a nice big crack in the case. And it's like, you know, when you buy something new you want to you know be able to open it and be fresh i mean of course there's going to be instances of manufacturing errors absolutely but the more that can be done to avoid receiving packages that are damaged the happier your customer is going to be that's that anyway what do we have in the box let's we'll set this aside for right now hey we got our favorite keycap puller not and then we have a cable all right so yeah, we have a keycap puller and a USB cable. Now, I do have another Next Time board, the Next Time 75, which I thought I had around here, but I guess I don't. Um, and at first, when I first got it, it was like, eh, it's a little lightweight, feels like a toy. After modding it, I've been very, very happy with it. It works. It um, just does what it's supposed to. Uh, I do know there's an aluminum version of the NT75. Though I have not seen it yet at a price that I feel is worthwhile me taking a chance. But if I do get the possibility, I will pick that up and do a review on that. But today we're taking a look at the Next Time X68. And what do we have here? So we have that nice gold badge. Um, I can't tell, but I think it does have... Oh, yeah. It has a nice... Uh, I love peeling but it has a nice protective layer in there. And, oh, that's plastic. I thought it was gonna be metal, but if it is metal, it's quite a cheap metal, it's very soft. Um, that's great. We have some plate-mounted stabilizers that appear to be extreme. Stabilizers are getting better nowadays. I mean, these things are not moving anywhere. Oh, grab it from the right part. Yeah. I'm not going to need to tape these. Um, I may I may lube them up because I, I I can't tell, but they almost look dry. Oh no, they got a little bit, but just the tiniest amount, just the tiniest amount of lube. Okay, we do have a padding or a, a foam pad. It looks like. Very likely EVA. Um, I don't think it's a poron pad. That is between the plate and the PCB. And the back is pretty. Oh. Um, this says model Mr. Q-68. Next time studios. Huh. Alright. Alright, we can tell that there's clips. See, that was probably caused in shipping. See how it's already coming up? Since there's already a little bit of a wedge in there and I don't think that we're gonna have to 
doesn't look like there's any screws. Looks like this whole thing is just it. Yep, I was correct. All right, let's just go ahead and take a quick look in there. I'm not going to do a mod or anything, but let's see what we've got. All right, this. All right, so we don't have any gaskets on the top. I don't believe this is a gasket mounted. No, this is not a gasket mounted. Although, hmm, yeah, I don't think it, I was going to say it might have the possibility for a pressure fit, but based on how this is set up, um, I don't think it would work very well. All right, so we're dealing with a, um, a tray mount. Yeah. You know what? Maybe even, I'm not going to do any of this now, but maybe even clipping these a little bit shorter and doing a burger might actually add just a bit of bounce. I mean, obviously, we're not going to get much flex out of this, but let's see what we got PCB wise. The work on it seems to be very clean. Very clean indeed. Does it have side RGBs? It looks like it has side. This is a, this feels like poron, but it's a pretty thin, thin sheet. So, but like I said, we're doing the stock now. As much as I want to modify it, I need to know what it sounds like before. So yeah, this. Those studs are mainly just for sitting up there, so there's a good possibility, especially since there's room to go up from here, but I don't know if that's going to cause problems with the case closing. So, but that's for later. It's it pretty straight on the feet. The test I'm doing with all the boards now after that um, key move. <laughs> Literally, and it would just fall over. So, we've got very interesting 65% um, layout with the exploded arrow keys and then a four key square um, nav cluster and north facing LEDs we have compatibility for 510 we also have a uh, uh, padding is like that's gonna cause me trouble if I tried to lube these I am gonna lube these and so just when I'm lubing stabs in place I, I basically lube them at the same method that I do uh, in my budget lube method for uh, switches which um, which is similar to Gazoo's method it's not the same I didn't copy it I hadn't seen it actually but uh, we had a laugh about it so I just add just the tiniest amount of this is my 80% grease 20% super lube oil just into the holes where the um, the wire is rattling or loose inside of the housing um, not too much do too much it's going to get squishy um, just enough to kind of fall in there just make sure that there's enough lubrication in those spots so that there's not going to be any rattling or at least we're going to do our best to prevent rattling. this i was trying to figure out what I was going to do um I'm in the middle of making a, a batch of polar pa ho holy polars, um, which are the housing from a Fecker holy panda and the stem from either a purple panda or a, um, a jazz banana. Uh, two different types of tactility, but they're both, in my opinion, pretty good uh, tactile switches, and they're all white. And I was going to think to put that on here, but I haven't finished that set. Um, and the other white switches I have, I just don't think are fair. So I'm just going to forego color scheme for right now and I figured that I load up with some so these are JWIT T1s but they are the um, clear top the PC top I ha also have them in the full black top but I just got these they are five pin so I figured why not let's give them a shot they actually for not being lubed they sound pretty decent stock so let's go ahead and load these switches on and we'll go from there well, that was a little odd. I uh, there was two or three black ones, whole black ones in there. I'm pretty sure I just dumped the bag that I got the other day into here. So. Um, Anyway, 
I wanted to plug her in real quick so we can check out the RGB before we uh, cover it up. <laughs> so it has a nice uh, USB port. It's barely recessed. I would guess half a millimeter, maybe less. So I don't think you'll have any trouble with uh, artisan cables. Oh, do you know what that means? When you see the lights light up in a circle like that, it means it has a Sonics MCU or a rebranded Sonics MCU, which means if somebody like myself took the time, a Sonics GMK driver or firmware could be built for this. Anyway, um, I'm actually surprised the, the uh, LEDs are quite bright. They're very nice and clear. Now, of course, as we did the unboxing, there was no manual, um, but I'm sure KP Republic, they usually have uh, all the software packs. They have a nice repository, even if you may not have bought the keyboard from them, they have a really nice wiki that has all of their uh, downloads for keyboards that they sell and have sold. So it makes it quite convenient. So, um, all right, hey, that's the colors. No, the LEDs are actually very bright and clear. Alright, so for this, I am... I'm in kind of a transition. I'm working on getting this studio set up a bit better to where I have everything handy. Also, I'm going to be doing a little bit more soundproofing in here. Um, and I'm also rearranging all my storage for keycaps and everything. So there's a couple keycap sets I wanted to use for these. But uh, there was only one that was really handy. And I thought that it would look good on this set. It's funny because uh, uh, the last keyboard I did is the Fecker Alice. And I'm still working on a mod video for that. It'll be coming soon. It sound, it's going to sound really nice. Anyway, um, it's funny because I bought the bare bone Fecker Alice, but these are the keys that seem to come on the already built one. Uh, it's a salmon uh, clone set. That's a PBT die sub. So I figured, you know, it's white and everything. And they're decently thick caps. They're not, you know, the, the thickest, but they're actually, I think they're 1.2, 1 1.1 millimeter. So they're above the, the mark for me, and they don't bend if I them so I figured uh, the, this set would look good I, I do love the colors of this and I think um, it'll pop on this background so let's go ahead and load the keys up and see what it looks like Well, here she is, folks. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. And just for my initial impression, I think it's going to sound a pretty decent song. I mean, nothing amazing, but for putting some stock switches, not doing any modifications, but adding a little bit more loop to the stabilizer. And the stabilizers will need some tuning, perhaps even a little wire balancing, but we'll have to see when I get in there. Um, I will be coming back to modding this. I really really like this layout i like that it has that blocker here um, i really hope that it has um, key mapping i'm sure that it does but uh, i just thought that was an odd place for the tilt uh, i need tilt but i also need insert software which i will do for my modification video but for right now i'm going to go ahead and do a sound test so yeah i've got um, the jwix put some here JWIC T1s in here, they're stock. Um, and I was gonna say, I don't know if they have two different, if ever a switch has two different um, spring weights, uh, I can assure you that if it was in stock, I bought the heavier. So I don't know if these come in two spring weights or not. I deal with so many switches, I forget. Um, it feels like a lower 60 to me if I had to guess, 62, 63. But anyway, it's a it's a very, uh, it's a nice tactile, not the heaviest of tactile, but definitely more tactile than a brown. Um, and don't get me wrong, I actually like browns, but I just don't think they're the strongest tactile. And putting different switch housings as well as different springs can actually make a brown 
not that bad or not as bad as it is. Anyway, so this is the next time X68 or as it's mentioned in the back of here, the uh, model is Mr. Q68. I don't know if they were trying to go for a Mr. Suit kind of bit, but uh, so this is a Mr. Q or a next time X68. It has, uh, I believe it's the Iki Aurora, but I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. A similar layout to it. Obviously, that one's a much pricier board, um, you know, and I believe it's gasket mounted. I don't know. I don't know much about about that board. But this is normally called an FRL because it's function row less, um, even though it is a 65% with a cluster. So, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you don't. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of this board stock. I'll be coming back to it in the near future to do some modifications. I'm probably going to do a silicone pour in here. I'm a big fan of silicone pour, especially with plastic boards. They really do the trick. Um, probably going to do the Tempest tape mod. We'll see about plumber's tape mod unless uh, balancing the wires does enough of a trick. And we'll either do PE foam or PE foam pads and get a little bit of more pop out of it. But like I said, I think this stock sound test is it's not going to be the most amazing but i think it's going to be pretty surprising uh especially since i recall the next time x75 when i first tested it out stock it had a lot it left a lot to be desired let's just say and i think this one's gonna show off a little bit better anyway until next transmission keep calm keyboard on